Hello everyone, welcome to Creatively Crafty Me. I am Charlena and today we have my final, my final Yarnable subscription for March. Okay, so firstly, um, the Yarnable subscription is something that I receive every single month, and I have been receiving it for over a year, and I really do enjoy the subscription. But this time, I did also get a three-month subscription to have the extra like accent color of yarn. So for now, I'm just going to cut the package open so we can see what goodies are inside. And let me see if I this here. It always comes in this extra little wrapper, so I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna take it out of this package. Oh, okay. Oh. And we're just going to cut right into the little zipper pouch so we can take the card out so we can get a good look at all the extra little goodies. And this month. The colorway is Here We Grow, G-R-O-W, Here We Grow Again. And it says, as we shift from winter's chill to spring's bloom, we're reminded of life's beautiful rhythm and renewal. Mark Daniel. So I'll just hold that there so y'all can get a look at that if y'all would like. And then the Did You Know? So the did you know says the earliest known examples of yarn were found in Switzerland and date back to over 20,000 years ago. Okay, so let's see. Let's start pulling out the goodies. So let's start here. Oh, this is cute. So this is paper sushi. They are, are like stitch markers. They're... um. Not stitch markers, like one side says RS and one side says WS for wrong side and right side, which I think is cool. So let's see what this is exactly. Oh, actually, let me take them out so y'all could get a good look at them. Because I know I know that sometimes the light is shining on them. Okay. Okay, so it says, embrace the charm of handmade craftsmanship with paper sushi's yarn ball sheet markers crafted by Jen in Central Oregon. Equip, equipped with a lobster clasp to effort, effortlessly mark the right side and the wrong side of your project. Those are you really useful. Those are really, really useful. I'm going to actually use these. And then we have experience the luxury of eco-friendly, soul fate free vegan hair care with a travel shampoo bar. We're getting a lot of like uh, travel things. Travel shampoo bar from Zoe of the Natural Spa Cosmetic, a company who product promotes a low waste and eco-conscious lifestyle. So that's actually shampoo. Uh, last month we received like bar lotion. Now we have some travel shampoo. People are knowing that you know you can't. People are tired of going to the airport and having their things disposed of. And there's one other thing in here. So <laughs> there's a a button and it says "Go away, I'm knitting." So it says "Float your knitting passion with Yarnable's cheeky pin back button featuring a bold statement." Go away, I'm knitting. <laughs> this playful accessory adds a fun twist to any outfit or a knitting bag. So that's really cute. So those were all the extras for 
this month and now we'll just take a look at the colorway of the yarn and it says here we grow again so it's looking like it's a green no it's a blue i'm always wrong with that yes yeah, so there we go so that is the colorway here we grow again and it is it has like a little bit of a green tint but it's mostly blue so it's like this bluish green yarn with these purple speckle sparkle purple speckle sparkles <laughs> with these purple speckles on it okay so i like that color so now the extra package is basically the same except we have an accent color in this bag so let's just see what the accent color looks like oh you can already see it it's a pretty yellow that's really pretty and got a pink zipper pouch this time instead of the white one but it has the same exact things in it yeah we have the pen badge this the bar shampoo and the right side wrong star markers i really like that that is something i will use and i work on more than one project at a time so that would be cool to have and Those are the colorways. Here we grow again. And then this is the accent color for March and it's called Buttercup. And it's this nice, pretty yellow. I really like that. So these are March's colors. And I did bring out all the other yarn that I received from January to March so that we could look at them all together. All right, so those are the two. Oh yeah, these are the two extra colors. So I'm just gonna put the, the extra skeins to the side and put all the actual colors together because I'm still trying to decide what I wanna do with these yarns. So those are the yarns that I will be working with. I kind of would like to try and use them all in one project, at least the yarn from January to March, or at least these. So the accent colors along with the actual skeins. And I had made um, TL Yarn Crafts Fairbank Shawl. Actually, let me get it. Yeah, so I had made this shawl here. Um, from Tia Yarncraft, it's her Fairbank shawl. And the way this shawl actually was, look, I need to trim some ends. I wear this shawl so much. The way this shawl was actually designed was for um, a full skein of yarn and then all the mini skeins from any kind of uh, countdown you might have received or any kind of mini skein kit you have. So you was to do these colors in a solid and then the stripes in different colors. Or you would use your different yarns for the stripes and then your main skein to separate the different colors. What I did was I used my a Christmas advent, a Christmas countdown, and I just put the colors together. So I used all the variegated yarns as the blocks and then all the solid yarns as the separating colors and i actually really really love this shawl and how this shawl came out and i pretty much just wear it like so yeah i wear it pretty much like that and it's really cool when i zip up my jacket or my coat because i wear it in the spring summer fall i wear it as an extra layer and i like to be able to cover my neck with it you know and then sometimes i would just literally wrap it around my shoulders if i'm a little chilly i'll wrap it around my shoulders but i'm thinking that 
maybe I will take these yarns and make me another shawl and just try to figure out how I'm going to use it. Maybe what I'm thinking is I will use this, you know, these separate colors as the main focus and then use these smaller colors too as the stripes to break up the to break up the pattern some so i don't know that is what i'm thinking so far is that i'm going to use these yarns to make me another tl yarn craft fairbank shawl because i really love this shawl and i really do wear this quite a bit and i want to use all of my little collection in one project so that's what i think i'm going to do with these i think i'm going to make this shawl that's what i think i'm going to do so let's just see how that works out and then i will still have my actual yarns this is my favorite out of these this color is so pretty so i don't know i'm gonna have to figure out exactly what i'm going to do with all the rest of this yarn but that is the unboxing for the March 2024 um, Yarnable package. Now, like I says, let me just, yeah, I'm going to leave this on for now. Like I says, I have been receiving this subscription for a while now, and I was making a blanket. I did, uh, I did show y'all all the squares. This has been a long time process for this blanket i did show y'all originally all the squares i'm not going to show them to y'all again but i will show you one just so you can get an idea what it looked like so i had taken every month crocheted it into a granny square and made the border in red and i did that for every single month and i thought i wanted my blanket to be three by five squares so three squares across five squares down I will include a picture of what the blanket looked like when it was three, when I laid it out to be three squares by five and I didn't like the shape of the blanket. I actually didn't like, I felt like it was too narrow. I felt like it was too narrow. So I started trying to think, what, am, what do I want to do? Do I want to actually make it four, like four squares wide? Because I did think when I laid it out, and I put the four squares together. I did, I did feel like the four squares was wide enough. But then that would mean that if I do it four squares wide by five squares long, I tried to decide if I wanted it to be four squares wide by five squares long, which would then mean that I need 20 squares. And at the time, I only had 15 squares. And I'm like, I'm going to have to make five more squares and i do have other hypnotic yarns but those colors are already in the blanket so i started trying to decide what i want to do so what i decided i'm going to do instead of making it three squares wide by five squares long or four squares wide by four five squares long i'm just going to make it a square i'm going to make it four by four which means it will be four across four down and then that would mean I only have to add one more square. And I had a, I already had I already had this yarn, which was the yarn from either October of 2023 or September. But I believe this was October's colorway. And I had originally decided that I wasn't gonna add it to the blanket because i wanted to add the other colors that i had already picked out but since i need an extra square i'm going to work this up border it and then add it to the blanket and hopefully finally be done with this blanket this has been i think my longest project ever and i'm not tired of it i'm not tired of it i just want it to be something that i am going to thoroughly enjoy so I'm going to do my best to make it a project that I'm happy with, no matter how long it takes. I'm not ready to give up on it. And yeah, so that is my actual plan. I'm going to now add this scheme to the blanket, even though I had originally decided not to.
Okay, so if you want to see what this blanket ends up looking like if it ever gets finished, and if you want to see if I actually do turn these yarns into another Fairbanks shawl, then do stick around. Do stick around, hit that subscribe button, come back to see what else I have going on, and I will talk to you in the next video. Okay, bye.